So you have an Oculus Quest and you want to know what games to get. I got you covered. What's good everybody, welcome back to Cook VR. Today we're going over the best games for newbies in the Oculus Quest. If you're new to the channel, we talk about everything VR and AR related every Tuesday and Thursday. And today I'm covering some of the games that I usually make people who are very new to VR play for the first time. We will be going from most comfortable, like you've never done VR before to kind of, you know, this is your second game or so. I'll have timestamps for each section in the description below. And if there is any games that I missed that you think should be on the list, let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's dive in. Starting off for the day at number one is one that I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have either seen footage of or at the very least heard of and that is Super Hot VR. Super Hot VR is an action level fighter game where the main premise is if you move, time moves, and if you aren't moving, then time's not moving. This is one that I will always start people off with. This is probably the first game that I go to when I'm starting people off in VR, and that is mainly because there's no smooth locomotion where they're gonna possibly get nauseous or anything like that. It's only However, they move in real life, that's how the game goes. This is a very easy game for people to get into, and it also just kind of shows off what VR can do and what it is, and yeah, it's the game that I recommend for anyone doing their very first game in VR. Super Hot VR goes for $24.99 on the Oculus Store. Next up is one that I actually only recently discovered and have been showing it off quite a bit, and that would be Walkabout Mini Golf. So obviously Walkabout Mini Golf is mini golf, but in VR, and it's a very easy game for people to get into. There isn't much to it. They aren't running and jumping off of buildings and possibly getting sick and throwing up and ruining their heads up because they fell. It's just a simple game of golf. You can play this with friends, and it's really fun, and there's more to it than just mini golf in this game. As you're going through the course, you can collect little balls that other players, other players have dropped, and at the end of your match, then you get those balls to play with, and, That's what she said. and you get to use those in future games, and there are different colors, different patterns, they're enjoyable. It's just a game that you get into, that you just relax, play with your friends if you have any friends, not like me, and you just have fun playing mini golf and seeing mountains, pirates, anything really. Things that you can't do in real life, especially right now. So it's fun, fun walking, walk about mini golf on the Oculus Store for $14.99. Have you ever wanted to be a Jedi? Well, if you have, you've probably heard of this game and that is Beat Saber. Beat Saber, if you somehow haven't heard of it, is pretty much Guitar Hero with lightsabers. It's just a rhythm game where you have two lightsabers in each hand, or you can just have one, and you're slashing blocks. Yes, it might sound weird, but when you're inside of it, you feel like a complete badass. This one is the second one that I recommend for newcomers right above super hot again there's no smooth locomotion they aren't being dragged anywhere they're just in that spot on that platform hitting blocks so beat saber is probably the biggest game in vr right or for the last few years so beat saber i highly recommend again if you haven't gotten it yet you should get it. It's $29.99 on the Oculus Store. Next up is a simple one, but my god, does it kick your ass. And that is Thrill of the Fight. Thrill of the Fight is a room scale boxing, I guess, simulator. Uh, it's less arcade style than really any of the other boxing games out there. Creed Rise of Glory and Knockout League. Thrill of the Fight, whereas Knockout League and Creed, you'll get exhausted. Thrill of the Fight, You'll be sweating like crazy after having a five minute long round where all you do is punch in the air because you do not believe in blocking because that's something that weak people do. So you shouldn't be doing it. Throw the Fight, obviously, again, is a boxing game and that's really all there is, but it's a fun one 
to kind of just play around in VR, punch some people. I wouldn't say it's as entertaining as Drunken Bar Fight, but it is something that you will sweat quite a bit in, or at the very least you'll find out whether or not you're in shape or terribly, terribly out of shape. Thrill of the Fight goes for $9.99 on the Oculus Store. Next up is one that isn't really like a beginner's game, but it's just one that I feel like most people should have simply just because it's such a good VR title, and that is Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Saints and Sinners is a very recently released one on the Quest Store. It's been out on PC since I think last December, but this one, it's set in the world of the comics in the Walking Dead series, and you're going to be killing hordes of zombies trying to survive them, and also keeping an eye out on your back for other survivors, which are very much so more dangerous than the zombies. This is an RPG open world survival horror game, and all of the physics and everything in this game just completely immerse you, and it's something that I feel like everyone should experience in VR just because it's so good and just so enjoyable, I guess, as enjoyable as it can be trying not to die, but you know what I mean. It's a good game. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners goes for $39.99 on the Oculus Store. If you've seen John Wick before and you have wanted be to become the boogeyman himself, this is the perfect game for you, and that is obviously Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip is a rhythm shooter game where you're being sent down a track pretty much through this very well-made and beautiful looking designs for all of their maps. I haven't seen one where I haven't been impressed by how good it looks and how cool it is. But this one sends you down a track and you have to try and kill all of the enemies who are trying to kill you and try and time your shots to the beat. The more in tempo your shots are, the more points you get. In this game, you will find out a few minutes after that there was an aim assist after you felt like you were hitting them every single time and you thought that you were the best shooter in the world and then you turn off aim assist and you're terrible. Pistol Whip is a very fun game. They have lots of tracks and everything's free and soon they'll be coming out with a story mode for the game that is set in a cyberpunk world. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So as I'm editing this, the trailer for Pistol Whip, the campaign, comes out, and it is coming out today, when this video is released, December 1st. So, yeah, I decided to say that because that was just good timing. Okay, back to the video, I guess. Bye. And it's gonna be awesome. So, I would highly recommend getting Pistol Whip just for the content, just for how fun it is. It goes for $24.99 on the Oculus Store. Next up is a newly released Oculus Quest game, and just a game in general, and that is Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. This one is similar to Vader Immortal, but whereas Vader Immortal was more of a movie, this one is much more of a game. I've been playing this pretty much non-stop for the last day or two, and I am very, very excited about it because I'm a Disney nerd, and this is the same world that is in the Disneyland park, and it's amazing if you like Disney, and if you like that park, because it feels weird, especially if you've been there. If you've been there, you know what I mean. It's, it's weird to be in a game where you've been in that world. I'm getting off topic. Galaxy's Edge is a story-driven game where you're being sent through all these stories trying to survive after a cargo ship uh, incident, let's say. This one is very new, and it goes for $24.99 on the Oculus Store. Second to last is another multiplayer game that you can play with your friends, and it is uh, quite a bit more intense than Walkabout VR, or Walkabout Minigolf, whatever it's called, and that is Solaris Offworld Combat. Solaris is a team-driven first-person shooter where you and your teammates are trying to take over and hold objectives and gain points and again gain the lead. This is a sci-fi based game where all of your weapons are sci-fi, all of the people are uh, wearing these esports looking helmets, and it's a very fun game. It is not one that I would say should be your first game because there is smooth locomotion 
you can possibly get pretty nauseous if you haven't built up your legs in VR the best yet. So this is one that I would say probably your third or so title of playing games, but I highly recommend it because the team behind it, First, first Contact, is amazing. They did the P PlayStation game, which is called Firewall Zero Hour, Rainbow Six Siege in VR pretty much is what most people call it. And this one, Solaris, is probably better. This one is it's very easy for beginners to jump in. The controls aren't very difficult. It's just a fun game. You go in there, you shoot, you try and hold the objectives, you win. And recently, Solaris has been optimized for Oculus Quest 2. I mean, not really recently. It's been a little over a month now. My god, time is flying by in quarantine. But Solaris, very good game. Highly recommend. It's going to be $24.99 on the Oculus Store. Last of all for the day is a big one, especially lately, and that is Population 1. Population 1 is the long-awaited Battle Royale Fortnite in VR, and it has not failed, I feel like, to live up to a type. It's a very fun game. You can climb buildings. You can fly off buildings by holding your arms out and having pretty much a wingsuit and you're trying to survive to be the last squad alive. Currently, Population 1 doesn't have a solo system, but if you have some friends who want to play it, or it has a lobby where you can join up with friends and just make new friends in VR. Something I'm terrible at doing, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to socialize. I'm terrible at it, but we're getting there. I'm gaining friends. Meh, sort of. Population 1 is a game that I don't think that everyone should need to buy. It's not something where I'm gonna say, this is amazing, but it's very enjoyable if you like social games and if you like multiplayer games and if you obviously like Battle Royale games mainly. This is the game for you. It's finally VR, Battle Royale. There have been some other ones, but for Quest owners, this is the first one and they did not disappoint. It's a very fun game, trust me. Population 1 goes for $29.99 on the Oculus Store. Alrighty, everyone, that's it for today. Again, these are all just recommendations of mine. This is my personal opinion, of course. If you have any games that you think are important for beginners in VR who just got an Oculus Quest to know, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video and you want to see more Oculus Quest content like this and more VR gameplay and guides like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the ring bell to be notified whenever I release a new video on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I also stream live on Twitch and YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If there's anything else that you want me to cover, VR related or Quest related at all, leave a comment down below, I'll try and see what I can do if I can do it. Alrighty everyone, have a great day, bye.